Okay, it's 50 firms, which is the number of, number of firms that, is, uh, that, are, that give you the long run equilibrium. Then what is the long run equilibrium? So let's, uh, let's try that to find that out now with the same cost function and demand curve. And remember that now we are going to try to find the equilibrium Q, long run equilibrium Q, the long run equilibrium price, the long run equilibrium quantity at the firm level, and furthermore, how many firms will be at the, in the long run equilibrium. We know that right now we have 50 firms, so there's probably going to be less than 50 firms, but how many firms? Well, uh, to start with, we have these two functions, uh, which we already know that we can solve because we have one, two, three, and four uh, equations here, uh, four, four unknowns and only um, two equations, so we need more equations. So what do we know about the long run equilibrium? Well, we know that at the long run equilibrium, the uh, price equals the average total cost. And furthermore, we know that the marginal cost uh, equals the average total cost um, at the firm level. So, uh, so these two equations will, will give us enough information for us to solve for all these variables. So, um, so let's start with this one here, right? Marginal cost equals ATC. So marginal cost is going to be equal to 10 plus 10Q. And ATC is going to be equal to 10Q uh, plus 10 uh, plus 5Q. And now we have all this thing in terms of Q, so we can solve for Q um, and find out that Q equals 4.5. Uh, and now that we have a small Q, then we can plug that back into our average total cost which is, uh, we have said, 100 divided by Q plus 10 plus 5Q. If we plug the Q in there, we find that the average total cost is actually 54.5, uh, so about $55. So we're already in good shape because the average total cost when um, uh, it's a lot less than it was um, when we have 50 firms, which just means that we are kind of to the left of the average total cost curve. So now that we have the average total cost, we know the price is also equals to average total cost, 54.5. So that means that we can replace that 54.5 for that P into our demand equation. So that's going to be equal to 100 minus 2 big Q. To find the value of big Q, it turns out to be uh, 22 Point seventy-five around uh, twenty-three units. So, um, so now that we know that uh, we can, f we we just found the market quantity, which is uh, twenty-two point five. We found the price, uh, which is um, fifty-four point five. Um, we found the small Q, which is uh, four point five. So now the only thing we have left. Is, is to find the number of firms, which we hope is going to be a lot less than um, 50. So we know that the number of firms, let's do that, why don't I do that in black? Let's do that in, in red, let's do that in black. Number of firms is going to be equal to the number, the quantity at the market uh, level divided by the firm quantity, and the market quantity is, um, is 22.75, and the uh, uh, firm quantity is 4.5. So, so we know that the number of firms is going to be equal to around five. So, uh, indeed, the number of firms they have uh, since firms are having a lot of ex, uh, losses when there's fifty firms, uh, we're clearly going to have a lot uh, less number of firms when the market is in uh, is in long run equilibrium. The number of firms is going to be equal to five.